Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is McCade Marshall and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video I shoot every single week for my readers and viewers from all over the world. So thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and coworkers. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email and also into Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all my latest videos. And the channel's just my name, McCade Marshall. And you can subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com, clicking on that Word of the Week tab, filling out that form there, and I'd be more than happy to add you to my subscriber list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is the Lake of Fire. Throughout the scriptures, God has made it clear that there are consequences to our actions. For those who pursue the Lord and pursue in doing what is right, there are rewards God has prepared for them. For those who reject the Lord and his word, there is punishment that God has prepared for them. God has given everyone a free will to choose what they will do and whether or not they are going to willingly love and serve him as the Lord and creator of all things. Anyone who calls on the name of Jesus for salvation will be saved from the wrath of God. They will be saved from going to hell for eternity. Those who reject the gospel message and God's free gift of salvation to the world through his son, Jesus, will spend eternity in hell. One of the words that translates to the word hell in the New Testament is the word Gehenna. Gehenna is referred to by Jesus when he tells his disciples in Luke chapter 12, verses 4 through 5. I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that they have no more that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear the one who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell, that is, Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Gehenna is not a place anyone wants to go to. In the book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible, Gehenna is called the lake of fire. The phrase lake of fire is used five times to describe an eternal place of everlasting punishment. Revelation chapter 20 verse 15 says, anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. The book of life is a book in heaven that records all of the people's names who have given their life to Christ. These are the enrolled citizens of heaven. Because we are Christians, you and I have our names written in the book of life. The Bible also tells us that not only unbelievers, but Satan and his false prophets will be thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verse 10 tells us the lake of fire is a place where they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. While this is a terribly frightening place that we would not want anyone to go to, the Lord is not going to leave sin unpunished. For those who have not repented and have not accepted Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins, they will spend eternity in the lake of fire. This is why we should pray for those who are not Christians, 
This is why we pray for God to send spiritual revival in the land. When Jesus first warns us about an eternal place called Gehenna, or the lake of fire, he is actually referring to a place that was literally a trash heap outside of Jerusalem where fires would burn and worms would destroy the refuse of the city. The word Gehenna, or hell, comes from the word Valley of Hinnom in the Old Testament. The Valley of Hinnom is a place where horrible acts of rebellion occurred by God's people. The prophet Jeremiah declares in Jeremiah 7, verse 31 through 32, And they have built the high places of Tophet, or Valley of Dead Bones, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and to burn their daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when it will no longer be called Tophet, or the valley of the son of Hinnom, that is Gehenna, but the valley of slaughter. The valley of Hinnom was a horrible place where parents would literally burn their children to death in pagan sacrifice. The valley of Hinnom is a very accurate picture of what hell would indeed look like. The modern-day Valley of Hinnom would be an abortion clinic like Planned Parenthood. Here, parents choose to sacrifice their own children, their own flesh and blood, for their own selfish purposes. There is no greater evil than putting to death an innocent, defenseless baby. As Christians, we should pray God brings the heinous act of abortion to an end once and for all. Abortion is our modern-day Gehenna, Valley of Hinnom, where children are sacrificed by their own parents. The good news today is God's not finished. He has redemption in store for his people. The Lord already knew from the beginning who would accept him and who would reject him. He knew he, who was destined for heaven and who was destined for the lake of fire. The Apostle Paul tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, but God's truth stands firm like a foundation stone with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his, and all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil. Today, rest assured, you belong to God your Father in heaven because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus says in John chapter 10, verses 27 through 29, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Friends, there is no one that can keep you from going to heaven. There is no one that can separate you from God's love. The lake of fire is not a place for the believer. It is a place you will never go near. Because God has saved us from the lake of fire, we sing his praises and worship him. The reason we are now alive and set free from sin and death is because of Jesus' blood. When Jesus died on the cross, he conquered sin and death. He defeated the enemy and ensured that no one who belongs to him will ever go to hell. Know today that God loves you so much. He desires that all would be saved and come to know him. It is not his will that anyone would be thrown into the lake of fire.
Well, I just want to pray over you really quick that you get this message into your spirit about the reality of the lake of fire. That just as heaven is real, the lake of fire is real. And so wherever you are, if you just want to bow your head, close your eyes and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, I just pray over everyone right now, Lord, that you would bless them in a special way. And I know, Lord, talking about hell, Gehenna, the lake of fire, is uncomfortable for anyone in the right mind. Your will is that no one would perish, that no one would suffer eternal torment. And that's why you sent your son, Jesus. And so, Lord, help us to be encouragers uh, to the people around us so that they might be saved from the lake of fire, and they might spend eternity with you in heaven. Help us to do the work of an evangelist, to point people to the cross, Lord. And I pray for anyone who's sick right now, fighting addictions, a health problem, or is going through a hard time emotionally, Lord. I pray healing into those situations and restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to being in right relationship with God your Father and being delivered from the lake of fire is by having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus came 2,000 years ago and he died on the cross for the sins of the world so that anyone who confesses his name and believes in him for salvation will spend eternity with God in heaven forever. So if you've never received the free gift of Christ's salvation, would you just bow your head, close your eyes, and pray this prayer with me and repeat after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community so that you can be around other believers that can encourage you along in your faith and also be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ. And read the Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. It's how we learn more about the Lord. It's how we fill our mind with scriptures and truth and really helps us to have a better life the way God intended for us to have it. So read the Bible every day and pray. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. The Bible says to cast your cares upon the Lord because He loves you. He cares for you. He wants to be involved in every aspect of your life. And also make sure to tell someone that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell someone you know that's a Christian. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, someone at school or church or work. Maybe it's a pastor or preacher, someone you know that loves the Lord so that they can encourage you along in your faith. And also I have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website's just my name, McCadeMarshall.com. And on McCabeMarshall.com, there's other Word of the Week videos just like this one that you can watch. There's over 200 different messages. So if you'll scroll through those videos, I promise you it'll just be a message that'll inspire you and encourage you to pursue your dreams and to go deeper in your walk with the Lord. And if you're not on my mailing list, go ahead and click on that Newsletters tab and fill out that form there. Uh, I mail out a newsletter every three months to people all over the world. So if you're not on the mailing list, I'd be more than happy to start mailing you a newsletter every three months. And also, I'm an author, and you can order my books on my website. And the latest book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. And Finding Your Keys has 12 different keys or spiritual truths. When you apply these truths to your life, they will unlock the supernatural power of God to go to work and bring real life transformation. And another book I wrote is called Breathe. And Breathe is all about pursuing your God-given dreams. And at the end of each chapter of Breathe, there's prayers you can pray over yourself and over your loved one. So it's a great resource to go deeper in your faith. And the first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. And Tasting the Goodness of God has 31 daily devotionals. They hope you learn how to spend time with God each and every day. So if you don't have Finding Your Keys, Breathe, or Tasting the Goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on my website. I'd be more than happy to sign them and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I just want to declare a special blessing over you. 
I declare you are set free from sin and death because of what Jesus did on the cross. You are set free from ever coming near the lake of fire in eternity. As you go out each day, God is going to use you to help lead others to Christ. You are his hands and feet to a world that is lost and going to the eternal lake of fire without him. You are God's ambassador. You are going from glory to glory and soaring to new heights you never thought possible. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve in Jesus' name. Well, I love you so much, and I pray for you every single day. God bless you.